there is a growing number of offshore wind farms planned for the UK's inshore waters. Offshore wind flows are stronger and more reliable than onshore, and siting massive turbines away from hilltops has proved more acceptable to lobby groups who want to preserve Britain's landscape. But constructing turbines offshore brings many engineering challenges, not the least the need to anchor the massive towers weighing hundreds of tonnes to withstand the fiercest storms imaginable. Access for maintenance is also a problem. This wind farm at Scroby Sands, three kilometres off Great Yarmouth, on the easternmost tip of England, is a 30-turbine complex that was Britain's biggest when it was completed by E.ON in 2004. It marked the start of a radical shift in thinking away from conventional fuels such as coal and nuclear towards renewables. And it's something that E.ON is, is taking very seriously and we're developing, we have, developing a, a range of uh, renewables technologies both uh, in terms of wind onshore and offshore and uh, this project will be one of the, the largest um, offshore wind farms in the UK. We're looking for um, construction over a two year period uh, following planning consent so we're hopeful that we will get the first generation, first renewable generation um, in 2012. The new wind farm is to be built off the east coast of England at the mouth of the River Humber. It will comprise up to 83 of the largest existing turbines, generating 300 megawatts at peak output, enough to supply the electricity needs of 200,000 homes. Why the Humber? Um, well, we spent a lot of time uh, reviewing the, the area the government, the UK government, decided on three strategic areas in which renewable project, uh, renew offshore wind farms could be developed. Um, and we decided on this, this uh, site off the Humber, Humber coastline because it was windy and it has the other attributes of uh, low waves, a flat sea, seabed and very good port location in terms of our ability to construct the, the project. The shift to renewable energy sources such as wind power is in line with the UK government's targets to reduce carbon emissions 60% by the year 2050. Power companies such as E.ON, which currently generates about 10% of Britain's electricity, are under pressure to use alternative sources of energy. We're not only talking about uh, wind farms. E.ON, is, for example, is constructing in Scotland at the moment um, the, what will be the largest UK biomass um, the, uh, fueled power station. Uh, we're also very active in developing marine devices. We have a, a team that are looking to put in into the sea both tidal and uh, wave devices. So this offshore wind farm has to be seen in the, the context of a, a range of renewable projects that we're, we're, we're looking to bring. The new wind farm will save up to 700,000 tonnes of CO2 a year and is expected to be generating power by 2012.